we are speaking with uh, current European Union heavyweight uh, champion uh, Richard Towers. Uh, yes. How are you doing uh, here in Austria? Oh, absolutely brilliant! You know, it's uh, it's like a dream come true. You know, I'm training with the uh, number one in the world, and um, the Klitschko brothers they own more or less every belt that you could possibly uh, dream of, that you could possibly achieve. These guys are the top of the food chain, and you know, I'm being shown. Um, a few little tactics by uh, Sugar, you know, um, by um, uh, Bashir, you know, the assistant trainer. And you know, the thing is, it's, I realise now, you never ever done learning. I've realised from the start, and I'm I'm hungry to learn everything. Every step of the way, I'm picking up something new. And you know, I feel like a bit of a fish out of water because um, in my gym, in the progress I've made in such a short space of time. I've not done too bad. I've been good, and I've not I've not got many marks on my face. I'm getting in here, and every I'm just new to everything, and I'm realizing I'm I'm a very small fish in a very big pond, you know. So I'm but I'm really grateful for it, and I'm really enjoying every every second, every step of the way. So onwards and upwards. As you said, you don't you don't have many marks on your face. So sparrings with Vladimir are. Uh, Doing good? Are, are you doing good in the, uh, during the sparrings? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, um, it's it's pretty hard to avoid to avoid this guy. You know, he's so fast, he's so sharp, he's such a good thinker. Uh, closes me down and all the tricks that I don't even I've never even seen. This guy's got, but um, I think I don't think he's taking advantage and and trying to take me head off. Because if he was, I, I don't think I'd be talking to you now. But um, I think. Um, He's, he's, um, I'm learning as, as I go along and that's the most I can do and the most I can ask for. I'm not going to get in the ring with a world champion, not only in status but in class, in everything he does, he does it right and you know I'm not going to get in there, I'd be unrealistic to say I'm going to get in there and I'm going to do well and I'm going to do this and I'm not going to get caught, of course I'm going to get caught but hopefully in the long run it's going to make me a stronger fighter sparring with this guy so you know. Are you familiar with Mariusz Wach, uh, opponent of uh, Vladimir Klitschko? What's yeah. your prediction of this fight? Well, we've watched uh, we've watched a few um, uh, videos on um, on Wach, and um, to be honest with you, you know, I, I, I don't wish malice, I don't wish bad on on anybody, um, but being realistic about the situation, I think um, Wach's stepping in over his head, but at the same time. Being the champion that Klitschko is, he, he doesn't underestimate nobody. He's getting in there and he's training just as hard as he has for any fight. Let me tell you, I'm training with him. Um, and, you know, I think, but the, my prediction is, I think it's going to be, I think White's coming to fight and I think he'll be prepared. But I don't think he quite understands what situation he's getting himself into. And I think, to be honest with you, I don't even think it's going to be a stoppage. I think it's going to be a cold out out so um, don't don't blink don't blink because you'll miss it <laughs> after training after sparring with Vladimir Klitschko why do you think this guy is so difficult to beat just you know I've seen him fight I've seen him train on on TV you know I hear about this guy this guy's my hero in boxing you know uh, six years I've only been boxing six years before that you, you just hear of him it's like a myth you know, and uh, the thing is, you know, now to be in the same camp, training with him, and stood exchanging punches and playing playing chess with a master chess player, you know, I'm a, I'm just a mere mortal, but I'm trying, and I'm getting a first-hand insight into how good this guy is, and you know, he's sharp. Like I said, he throws two shots, and he'll catch you with one and a half. If he throws ten shots, he'll catch you with nine and a half. You know, and and um, you know, being up against that type of thing, you've got to be on your you've got to be on your best game every single time, every single time. You switch off, boom, and you're out. And I don't want that, you know. So I'm just I'm trying to watch, I'm trying to learn, I'm listening as much as I can. And you know, I'm just grateful to be here but um, you're going to see how good this guy is um, on the night of the fight, mark my words.
And what's next for you? I, I saw you uh, has a scheduled fight in China in December, yep. Yep. but it will be it won't be a defense of your your EB EU uh, championship. No, no, it's not. It's not a defense of my EU title. It's um, it'll be for the Commonwealth Eliminator. So hopefully after that I'll be fighting David Price, but not looking too far forward. Because I've got a big, um, a big task at hand in uh, Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown's a puncher. I think he's had seven fights. I think he's knocked seven out or six out. <laughs> big puncher. Um, I've sparred with him, um, and but you know I'm training hard and um, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to be ready. And you know I'm, I've, I've got one chance at this game, and I'm not wasting any opportunities. That's why when the Klitschko's contacted my trainer, they said, "Do, do I want to come and spar?" What? Yes, please. No question about it. So here I am. I'm learning. Come December time, come the fight time for China, and I'm going to be on top form. Uh, I'm doing the run, my runs in the morning. Um, I'm training with Deontay Wilder. Um, we've got Jamil, Jamil McLean. You know, all these guys. I'm getting pointers from them all. I'm, I'm a, a, a good few scales behind them, um, just with regards to experience and knowledge. But I'm learning every step of the way, every step of the way, and I'm enjoying every second of it, every second. Mm -hmm. And official uh, challenger for EU Championship is Francesco Pianeta. Yeah. Uh, has he approached uh, your camp uh, for the fight? Um, I'm not sure, you know, I, I said to my trainer when I first walked in the gym, you know, I'm, I'm under no disillusion, you know. All these guys are far more experienced than me, they've had a lot more fights than me, they've been in the boxing game a, long, a lot longer than me. And I said to my trainer, I said, you know, if you tell me that I'm ready to fight anybody. I'm ready. So I, I don't question, you know, names don't really mean anything to me. Um, but on the same hand, I don't underestimate nobody. But if my trainer says I'm ready, you know, I've come from a world-class gym. We had Prince Nazim, we had Johnny Nelson, Junior Witter. Uh, we've got Kid Galahad, we've got Kelbrook now who's coming up. He's boxing for the world title next. We've got all these guys. So you, uh, I'm not dealing with no fools. They're, they're serious, serious players in the game. So if they say I'm ready, God willing, I'm ready.